You've seen those big heavy-duty oil bottles labeled diesel engine oil, extreme protection, or turbo safe. They promise longer engine life, more power, cleaner running, and even better fuel economy. But here's the shocking truth. In a real-world test across dozens of diesel engines, many of these so-called premium diesel oils actually caused faster wear, hotter operation, and even turbo damage when used the wrong way. That's right. The oil that's supposed to protect your diesel might actually be hurting it depending on how and where you drive. So, should you use diesel-specific oil or just stick with a high-quality synthetic? By the end of this breakdown, you'll know exactly which one your diesel really needs and why so many drivers are unknowingly wasting money or slowly killing their engines. What makes diesel oil different? Let's clear this up first. Diesel oil isn't just thicker oil. It's built differently for a reason. Compared to regular gas engine oil, diesel oils are designed to handle more soot, higher temperatures, and extreme pressure from heavy loads and turbo boost. There are three main things that make diesel oil unique. Higher detergent levels. Diesel oils have strong cleaning agents to handle the soot and carbon from diesel combustion. Stronger additives, ZDDP and anti-wear agents, to protect against the heavy metal-on-metal -metal pressure inside a diesel's valve train and turbocharger. Heavier base oils, usually thicker, like 15W40 or 5W40 to survive high heat and longer running times. Sounds perfect for any diesel, right? Not always. Because these differences can actually backfire hard, especially in modern diesel engines with EGR systems, DPF filters, and tighter oil channels. Let's break it down. Detergent overload. When cleaning becomes a problem, diesel oils are loaded with detergents. They're designed to dissolve soot and keep sludge from sticking to the engine. That's great for older, high-mileage diesels that run dirty like the old Cummins, Power Stroke, or 1KD Hilux motors. But in newer diesels, especially ones with DPF systems, that same strong detergent blend can actually release too much carbon at once, sending it straight into the DPF filter. The result? Faster DPF, clogging, and shorter regeneration cycles. Even worse, when you use the wrong type of diesel oil like CI4 instead of low sap CK4 FA4, the extra ash and zinc can damage the DPF or even shorten turbo life. That's why most experts now say, more detergent doesn't always mean cleaner. Sometimes it means more trouble. If your diesel engine is clean and modern, running too aggressive of a detergent package can actually shorten its lifespan. 2. Thicker isn't always better. Most diesel oils come in thicker grades like 15W40, the classic heavy-duty oil used in trucks, tractors, and big diesels for decades. But many newer diesel cars and light-duty pickups like Ford Ranger, Toyota Hilux, or Chevy Colorado diesels are built with tighter tolerances and need thinner oils like 5W30 or 5W40 synthetic. Using thick oil in these engines can cause slower cold starts, reduce fuel economy, and delayed turbo lubrication. And that's dangerous, because most turbo wear happens right after startup. In tests comparing 15W40 to 5W40 synthetics in modern diesels, the thicker oil showed higher oil pressure, but also higher turbo temperatures and longer oil flow delays. Think of it like your bloodstream. More pressure doesn't mean better circulation. 3. Additives. Powerful but risky. Diesel oils are full of powerful additives. Things like ZDDP, zinc, dial phosphate, molybdenum, and phosphorus. Hus and these are anti-wear agents that protect metal parts under extreme pressure. They form a thin protective film on surfaces like camshafts, lifters, and turbos. That's a big reason older diesels could survive hundreds of thousands of miles. But here's where it gets tricky. Those same additives that help old-school diesels can damage emission systems in modern ones. Too much zinc or phosphorus can poison your DPF diesel particulate filter, or SSCR Selective Catalytic Reduction System. Once those systems start clogging, you'll see warning lights, higher exhaust temps, and eventually expensive repairs. So, while more additive sounds like more protection, it's really about balance. Modern engines don't need heavy additive loads. They need clean-burning, low-saps oils designed for emissions-equipped diesels. That's why the newest diesel oils labeled CK4 or FA4 are formulated to give strong protection without damaging your after-treatment systems. But not every driver reads the fine print. And that's where the problems start. The real-world diesel oil test, 
Let's look at what actually happens in the real world. A group of mechanics tested 40 diesel engines, ranging from older 7.3 Power Strokes and 4056 Mitsubishis, to modern Duramax and Eco Diesel motors. Each engine ran for 10,000 miles half on regular diesel oil, half on high additive racing or older CI4 blends. At first, the heavy-duty oil seemed like the winner's smoother idle, less oil consumption, and quieter engines. But after 10,000 miles, the results flipped. Engines running older spec diesel oil showed more soot buildup in the DPFs, higher oxidation, the oil breaking down faster under heat, more wear metals in oil analysis, and faster turbo bearing wear due to slower cold flow. Meanwhile, engines running the correct modern CK4 FA4 oils stayed cleaner, with lower wear readings and more stable temperatures. In other words, older, thicker, high zinc oils gave short-term smoothness, but long-term damage. Modern diesel oils provided quieter operation and better long-term protection. The diesel oil psychology trap. If the science is so clear, why do so many people still pour thick, old-school diesel oil into their modern trucks? It's simple confidence and habit. The label says heavy-duty protection, or for big diesel engines. And that makes people feel safe. The ads show semi-trucks, tractors, and massive engines running forever. So drivers assume, if it works for a big rig, it'll work for my pickup. But the truth is, not all diesel oils are created equal and using the wrong one for your specific engine can do more harm than good. Oil brands know how to sell reassurance. They show black sludge turning golden clean, cracked pistons being saved, and thick oil flowing like liquid armor. But what they don't show is what happens inside your turbo when that oil flows just a little too slow. Remember, no oil can fix worn bearings, restore compression, or rebuild piston rings. Those are mechanical issues, not chemical ones. So if you're switching to a different diesel oil because your truck has a small problem, you might just be covering the symptom, not solving the cause. Let's hear from people who actually work with diesel engines every day, the ones who've seen the results firsthand. Bob the Oil Guy, a well-known lubrication analyst, says, Diesel oils are great tools, but only when they match the engine's needs. Use the wrong spec, and you're fighting your own equipment. Most trucks that come to my shop with oil-related problems, sludge, leaks, DPF clogging, it all started after someone switched to the wrong diesel oil blend. And even oil manufacturers quietly agree. A mobile Delvac internal report noted that older CI4 oils are meant for pre-2007 diesels, those without emission systems. Modern oils labeled CK4 or FA4 are specifically made for engines with DPF, SCR, or EGR setups and using the wrong type can shorten the life of those parts. So the message from the experts is clear. Diesel oil isn't one size fits all anymore. Choose based on your engine's generation and its emissions equipment. How to know which diesel oil your engine really needs. Here's how you can tell if your truck, SUV, or diesel car actually needs heavy duty oil, or if a lighter synthetic is better. Use high detergent diesel oil, like 15W40 CI4. Your engine is pre-2007, with no DPF system. You notice light oil burning or small leaks. You drive mostly long highway trips or haul heavy loads. These older engines benefit from thicker oil and stronger additives because they were built with looser tolerances and simpler emission setups. Avoid heavy duty or old spec oils if your diesel has a DPF, EGR or SCR system, basically any modern diesel since around 2007. You live in a cold climate Thick oil takes too long to flow at startup. Your engine runs quietly, cleanly, and shows no oil loss between changes. For these engines of 5W30 or 5W40, full synthetic CK4 or FA4 oil will protect better, flow faster, and keep your emission systems healthy. When diesel-specific oils actually help... Now let's be fair, diesel oils exist for a reason. When used correctly, they can absolutely extend the life of a hard-working engine. Here's when they really make a difference. Engines with minor oil consumption or small leaks. If your diesel burns or leaks a little oil, say half a quart, every 2,000 miles, a heavier 15-watt 40 diesel blend can reduce that by around 25. The thicker base oil seals better and stays stable under high load, high temperature, or towing conditions. If you drive in hot regions like Texas, Arizona, or the Middle East, 
or you tow often, thicker diesel oil is your friend. It resists thinning at high temps and keeps a strong film under heavy pressure. Older non-turbo diesels or simple mechanical engines, classic diesels like the old 4D56, 2LT, or 1HU's engines love thicker oil. They were built for it. Those motors have wide clearances and a thicker 15W40 or 20W50 keeps them quiet and protected. But remember, none of these benefits apply to newer high-tech diesels with small oil passages and turbos spinning at 150,000 RPM. In those engines, fast flow beats thick flow every single time. The biggest diesel oil myths bust. Let's start with one of the most common myths out there. Diesel oil lasts forever. That's false. Even the best synthetic diesel oils break down over time, especially in engines with EGR or DPF systems. Two, fuel dilution and moisture slowly contaminate the oil, making it lose its protective strength. In fact, oil analysis from multiple fleet studies shows that after 8,000, 10,000 miles, most diesel oils start showing clear signs of viscosity drop and oxidation. So if you're skipping oil changes because you think diesel oil is stronger, you're gambling with your turbo, bearings and injectors. Another myth, thicker oil means better protection. It's not always true. Thicker oil raises pressure, but that doesn't mean it's reaching every critical part faster. Modern engines need fast flow, especially during cold starts, and most wear happens right then. A 2022 SAE study found that over 70% of long-term bearing wear happens in the first few seconds after startup, mainly due to oil that's too thick to flow quickly. So even though a 15W40 may sound tougher than a 5W40, it could actually cause more wear in modern engines during those first few seconds. Automaker recommendations, what they actually say. Even the companies that build your diesel engines are clear about this. Toyota. Always use the viscosity and API ACI rating listed in your owner's manual. Changing viscosity grades based on mileage is not recommended. Ford for power stroke engines. Use only oils meeting the manufacturer's specifications. Additive heavy or unapproved oils can alter internal seal chemistry. GM for Duramax. Use API CK4 or FA4 oils. Older oil categories may not protect after treatment systems or provide the correct shear stability. Cummins. Avoid outdated CI4 or CJ4 oils in DPF equipped engines. They can cause ash buildup in shorter service intervals. So even automakers, the people who design these engines, tell you the same thing. Stick to modern oil specs, not marketing slogans. The final truth about diesel engine oil. Diesel oil is not magic. It's not one size fits all. The best oil depends on what kind of diesel you drive, how you use it, and where you live. If your engine is old school, no DPF, and runs hot, go with a thicker, high detergent oil. It'll protect those wide clearances and old seals. If your engine is modern, turbocharged and clean, stick to low saps full synthetic oils like 5W30 or 5W40 CK4. They flow faster, stay cleaner, and protect sensitive emissions parts. And if your engine runs perfectly fine, don't switch oil just because a bottle says high mileage or diesel protection. Because when it comes to modern diesels, using the wrong oil can destroy a turbo faster than neglecting an oil change. At the end of the day, it's simple. Use oil that matches your engine design, not your gut feeling. Follow the manufacturer's specs, not marketing promises. And remember, oil can't fix mechanical problems. It only protects what's still working. So the next time you see a big jug claiming to make your diesel run forever, look past the shiny label. The real power isn't in the bottle. It's in knowing what your engine actually needs. So before you pour that next quart of oil, take a moment to check your manual, not the label hype. Because the smartest diesel owners aren't the ones who spend the most on oil. They're the ones who understand what their engine actually needs. Keep your oil clean, your filters fresh, and your diesel will reward you with power, reliability, and that deep rumble we all love. Take care of your engine, and it'll take care of you. Mile after mile,